an all Egyptian affair on both halves of the draw. Look at that, Egyptian flags everywhere. And we'll kick off with Nuran Gohar, the number one seed, up against Hania El Hamami, the number six. Yeah, good work down the backhand wall from Gohar. Hand out, five, Provided four. the opening and nicely put away. That's the switch oh. I was talking about. That's a, that's a clever play. Ten, Just nine. When she doesn't allow herself to get tied down that Gohar, you can see she wants to put it over on that backhand and step in front of her. Down, 11-9, game to Hamami. Hamami leads, one game to low. When she needed to from the front, also a good option to go to. She's under pressure in that front left, just left it out of there. And there's, there's the power of Goha down that line. And out, one all. Goha has to win her points using sort of uh, shots like that, Vanessa. So I just felt like she controlled the squash when we played her. So even though I would sort of be, sometimes be able to scrap my way through it, I never felt like I was in control. And that always feels quite uncomfortable when you're just someone that just makes you feel like a bit of a runner on there. And out, 4-9. And the only person that I can think of that in any way sort of was able to just get you with a barrage of pace. Seven game to Goha, one game all. Definitely yeah. been the consistent player so far in this match. Amami's just been in and out with her form. Yeah, and the things that we were complimenting about her game, about that line hitting, she's just not hitting a good enough length. I know she's under more pressure. So those defensive lines that she plays when she's getting dragged back, she's, she's got to come up with better answers. That's a nice... There's that high-pitched scream once again. And out, 3-4. But the length battle's being won by Goha. That's well, why she's, she's... She's playing one of the best line hitters in the world. I mean, you knew exactly where that was going. She's never going to miss a shot like that. Down and out on there. She looks tired. And possibly carrying two injuries. Oh, oh wow. wow. That was risky, but it paid off. She was pretty and deep in the court to be game ball down here. Even behind the back of the service box, wow. There it is, unbelievable finish to that game, 13, Vanessa. 11, we have seen go three absolute, two two perfectly executed winners out of the racket of Goha. She took the game on and <laughs> won it off her own racket, and she's left El Hamami stumped. Absolutely flatlined it. She's left the boast open, but that wasn't punished. Certainly the type of rally that El Hamami wants and needs lengthier rallies. Down. And there we see that just Gohar's movement was lagging, whether it was related to the injury or just out, a two, little three. bit of fatigue. Yeah, she's uh, physically, she's not in good fettle. The hitting is still brilliant. But if Hamami can just have the awareness... Now, given uh, El Hamami's results recently, where she's been winning a lot of big matches in five, Vanessa, ooh, I thought she was going to ask for a possible stroke there. You 
you do feel that if she can just find a way to build some better patterns. Oh, the floor's going to be wet after that. Luckily for Goha, that ball tightened. Four, please. Four, please, quickly. Huge draw from Goha. And that just, that tells me more than anything how much discomfort she's in. She desperately wants to close this out as soon as possible. Especially on the backhand. That's another oh, one. Wow. Incredible finish. 11-4, match to Goha. Three games to one. Not the friendliest uh, tap there. 30. So, Nora Goha, after 76 minutes, I would have to say you've got to, multi, you've got to subtract about 20 minutes out of there that weren't really belonging to playtime. Nora Goha proving once again that that record, track record that she has of two wins against El Amami. And Nora El Tayeb takes on Nora El Shabini, the Black Widow, up against the Warrior Princess. In the World Tour Finals. And then the second game. It was the errors that, that really allowed Tyre to get back into it. And then once she's into a match, she's a nightmare, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, it was, it was only a short phase of, of pressure six, where Tyre was able to just sort of get a few balls back, extend the rallies. And... Yeah, that's brilliant. All set up by that really clever shot down the middle of the court and by Tyre. Six, nine. Down. Well, the ball Down going into the tin on the tired boast. One game to love. Similar to the first game, the last time they played, but 11-6 to Nero Shabini. Well, there's the dive. Unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> Well, Tyab's now asking about the, the floor, but this rally's going to continue. Oh, I can't believe it. That is oh unbelievable, goodness. unbelievable stuff. Absolutely superb rally between these two. I mean, Tired gets up from that. Shabini volleying. How does Shabini get this one back? Great finish as well from Tired. But I thought she looked down and out and then plucks out a boast winner and then shows off her footy skills. <laughs> Another really open rally between these two. Oh, and the defensive play was so good from Tyab, but then when she has the opportunity, she just left it sitting up. And oh, she couldn't resist nine, this cross court seven. volley nick attempt, and then she was punished with the follow up. Yeah, it's clever. Ball yeah, down the middle, Shabini, going straight Shabini at Norel Tired. There's another open and difficult rally for both of them. Shabini coming out on top with that. And she wasn't quite getting that balance right at the tour finals. There was a lot more being go going into the front, whereas now she's getting the balance right. She's pushing it back into the corners. She's going for the kill or the drop shot, and the, the variety is just brilliant. One love. Yeah, I feel like she's used the kill. Well, Tyab's done incredibly well to get herself into the lead here. Oh, oh that is brilliant. a brilliant shot. At full Five extension, one. and then great touch. Tricky.
There we see the control of the opponent. Hard work for Tayeb, oh. but the error, the ball kept Level coming back, and the error Tayeb, was made by Norel Shabini. Oh, just jabbed it up somehow, and then gets the bounce. Absolutely furious with herself. She knew she had an opportunity there. What a shot from Shabini, that one adapting down the Six middle of the four. court. This one. What a volley. <laughs> what a volley from Tyre. <laughs> Shabini almost got there. I'd say it's I mean, so that early. Gone horribly wrong. She's done it. That ball is just squeezed and stayed straight. Match to Shirbini. Revenge Three for Norel Shirbini for the World Tour Finals. But really high quality match between these two. She had to work really hard. She had to play at her best. 53 minutes. But it was really open squash. And of course, that's tiring squash. But it was a 3-1 win for the Warrior Princess over the Black Widow, Norel Tired.